Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be showing a way to play Last Day on Earth on PC. So in the absence of a PC version for the amazing game known as Last Day, there is a way to do it. And it's actually a way that I've been using for quite a while. It's this thing called Nox. I don't record my videos off it, but it's called Nox. I've been using it ever since like last year for like NBA 2K stuff that's totally unrelated though, but I've been using it for a while and recently the Nox guys coincidentally enough contacted me like hey want to do a sponsored video with us and i'm like hell yeah because your emulator is dope and i would love to spread the message of it and some of the awesome features that it has is even like being able to map certain touches to your keyboard like i would made the joystick map to like my wasd key i made like certain buttons like the met like my inventory map to like the eye so you could literally like manually turn any game in this emulator into like into like a pc game pretty much you can like play with keyboard you can do stuff with your mouse there's even like built-in video recorders and stuff and a whole ton of features that i haven't even touched on but out of the features that i've used it's freaking awesome and totally reliable so i totally want to spread the message if it seems like something that interests you if you do want to play on pc if maybe your mobile or your phone isn't the best or you just want to do something like that all you gotta do is go to the link at the top of the description to download nox and from there once it's downloaded you just run it it sets up and you can start playing last day and other android stuff on your computer which is pretty freaking awesome and i want to say huge thank you to them for sponsoring the shout out and supporting the channel it means an absolute ton to me and i really hope that this could be useful to some of you guys that might be you know watching from pc or maybe don't have the best phone or maybe just want to play on pc because you know playing with the keyboard's easier for you regardless of what the reason is i hope this is able to help some of you guys out but other than that let's hop into the meat of the video baby and here we are everybody welcome to the pc pretty much the closest thing to the pc version of the game we're gonna have playing this thing on an emulator and that's why i'm so happy i got to partner up with nox which is an emulator i actually used it for jurassic park slash jurassic world uh back when i did a video on that and I'm just really happy. Like when they approached me, they're like, yo, you want to do a video on this? I'm like, hell yeah, because this emulator is dope. Look at me. You see where my mouse is? I'm able to play this thing pretty much all keyboard and mouse. I still have to figure out how to like, do the clicky thing there. But for the most part, I could potentially aggro that. I could like put a key to that. I think I'm just going to leave it to click in it though. Just because like, I don't know. I don't want to like accidentally be hitting buttons and you know, wailing on people. Well, regardless, that's all stuff we can do a little bit later for now. We are hopping in and we're going to be beginning from scratch a little bit as I try to show off what is pretty much the closest thing to the PC version of the game that we have. And here we got ourselves a couple of nifty little clothes and a cleaver. Cleaver, cleaver. Very nice. And I don't know, this is, I kind of like with this video too, it kind of brings up the question, the question that I want to ask you guys and I thought would be a pretty good one here. Why don't we go ahead and enter into sneak mode, try to get our buddy over here. Hello, Roman zombie. How do you do? Why don't you uh, eat a little bit of that? Yeah, ho oh, ho, off with your head. I'll take all of that, all right. Why don't we collect up some of these things as well? Cause we are gonna be able to build our base here. What's that? Oh, check this out, boom. I assigned the B button on my keyboard to this. It's actually really cool. And what I was saying before I got interrupted by myself is I wanted to ask, do you guys ever think Last Day on Earth might actually become a PC game? Or if it might get a PC version or something, or maybe just like a PC adaptation. It doesn't, I'm not saying like PC players are playing the exact same game as uh, whatchamacall. Now we can't chop that down here. We gotta make a hatchet and stuff. We'll be able to hop into that. Well, why don't we hit boom, that C button to get into this crafting menu. God, dude, those key shortcuts are seriously so freaking dope. And you can do this with a variety of games too, but I want to talk about Last Day on Earth. Since that's the game that a ton of us freaking love. And speaking of love, I'm gonna love chopping off some of these brains off, these zombies off. But that is, ah, flea. That is, uh, oh, look at that. He kind of gave up on me. Freaking friendly zombie out here. What, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this shenanigans? It's like he only wants to aggro me if I'm in range. Well, if, if you say so, kind sir. I wonder if he uh, keeps on aggro. No, he, he just forgets about me. Were the basic zombies always like this? Maybe things just get harder as we progress. Either way, that dude's chill. We're chopping off his head. Oh, look at that thing roll around. You spin me right round, baby, right round. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna gather up some of these basics. We still haven't taken any damage, which is good. And we're just kind of gonna build a couple of the basics. And hopefully, another thing that I really want to do with uh, restarting a little bit here. This well, I'm not restarting the entire series, don't worry. I just want to do it for this video to show you guys about a way to play this on PC. If maybe your phone isn't the best phone out there, you know, and like, it's just like a pain in the buoy to play on mobile. It is totally possible to play on your computer. And this is exactly how. But regardless... Why don't we keep on collecting some of the stuff, make sure that we've cleared everything out. 
We could go ahead and chop everything up. I don't know if I want to do that, though. Uh, we also got free food and whatnot, dude. It's been so long since I've been... Oh, I'm still without my pantalones, man. We got no pantalones, but I can do 360s really quick, man. We still got none of those. I can eat up some berries here. Try to get some food going. I think some other YouTubers who actually play Last Day on Earth do end up playing on PC, too. Uh, it's a lot easier to record. There's actually, I don't know if you guys can see here, there's, there's a video recorder built into this one, too. I'm not using it just because I like using my programs that I use, but that was pretty handy, too, if you want to hop into it. But why don't we loot you up, get some of that rope, and let's see what we can start crafting. So we can unlock the spear. Probably a pretty good idea in terms of things to get. Uh, we do need to get some stones, though. So why don't we try to find some of those lying around? Oh, wait, I don't need to click that. I can just hit the E button instead because I made the E button my pickup button. Look at that. Ah, that's so awesome. That's the one thing. Like, trust me, I'm gonna keep playing on mobile because I love playing on mobile because it's just like so nice to have a survival game you can play anywhere. But, let, dude, if I, if it wasn't for that mobile constraint, this is awesome and I would love to be playing last day like this. It's just like so much easier in terms of controls too, especially because I'm so used to keyboard and mouse because I've been playing PC for so long. It's just like, I don't know, it's easy peasy to me. And we can go ahead and pop that thing into there. Check this out. My Q button, I made my Q button hit that area. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, it is. Still can't, actually, can we chop this down? Yeah, we can. This is the hatchet. I'll take a little bit of that. Anything good for me, Hatchet? Well, I mean, we got the pine logs out of that. All right, well, why don't we keep chopping this down? But let me know what you guys think of this in the comment section down below. And also, do make sure to check it out in the link at the top of the description if you do want to cop it for yourselves. But let me know what you think of this. And also, while you're at it, let me know what you think of a potential PC version of the game. Personally, I think it's a maybe because Last Day on Earth has been a super successful game, you know, like think I think it has over 10 million downloads on the Play Store. And if it's seeing that much success, you know, the devs, they got to at least be thinking about the idea. Like maybe we could turn this into maybe turn into like a PC game. Maybe not, though. That's just an idea. Just the theory. Personally, I don't think it'll happen. But I mean, playing this on PC technically definitely did bring it up so in the meantime until if and when that does happen or never happens or whatever ends up happening with that at the end of the day your best way to play this on pc is going to be through an emulator and like i said i'm highly recommending nox one uh before they even reached out to me with the sponsorship i've been using it for uh, ever since jurassic world and i've been using it ever since actually funny story ever since last year it's it, this this might sound totally like nonsense to you guys but uh so in this game called nba 2k 17 uh, sometimes they would give out codes, right? And what I ended up doing is I'm like, okay, cause I, like it took forever to type the code into my stupid console. Uh, cause I was playing on console and they had the mobile app, but the mobile app was really annoying too. So I ended up, uh, installing the emulator so I could just use my keyboard to type it in, which was way faster. I ended up getting some of those, uh, some of those special cards that are like super limited edition through the codes that they dropped in because I was able to do it so quickly just straight from my computer. So that was awesome. Uh, now speaking of things here, why don't we get ourselves some of those bottles of water? Oh no, agua for me, senor. Oh no, 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 no. I'll just keep munching on some of these berries then. And you know what we could try to do? Why don't we try to build up something? Well, we can't really build up nothing yet either. That is a small issue. We don't have the small box unlocked although that's the first thing we're gonna unlock we get level two so before we venture out and hopefully find an airplane crash that's what i'm hoping we find uh before that happens what i'm hoping we can do is at least finish this level up craft some things up uh we should be able though to get a couple of these things crafted and we'll just start with a little two by two nothing super insane all right unless you guys really want me to continue playing on pc i don't know but uh back to what i was saying before i interrupted myself uh let me know in the comment section what you think about this potential pc version what you think of the idea anything like that and also what you think of the emulator if you do decide to try it out or even just from uh watching the game and whatnot or watching the gameplay herpa derp words are hard dude it's been a long day i've had like two tests today three homework assignments i've been working on my brain is still fried because i've been working on all of that stuff since yesterday so like send papa star some help because he needs it badly i also need some agua badly i am thirsty senor Ah, uh, you know what i should do hold on i should craft a backpack can i do that yet or is that the next thing we unlock level two okay so we might want to wait a little bit uh i think we might want the backpack before we even dare invest in this a small box what do we have over here we got plenty of that we got the spear 
We got the seeds. Mm, I don't want to drop any of this because in early game, a lot of this is valuable. So instead, I'm going to use this as the chest for now. Oh, baby. Look at that innovation. Look at the innovation, bro. Uh, I'll bring those two with and what I'll end up doing is actually just crafting a backpack wherever we go. Or honestly, no, I don't even need to do it like that. Instead, we can definitely pick some grass and we got a hatchet here. We'll be able to get everything we need for a basic backpack. Actually, no, we need a rope for the backpack. So hold on, I'm gonna split that thing up a little bit. There we go. And what we should be able to do is literally just bring that and what was the other thing? Is it grass? We'll be able to get some grass wherever we go, to be honest. So we're looking pretty good. I'll bring the water bottle too, just in case. We'll come back. We'll go on our, you know, 20 minute adventure in and out really quick. <laughs> but uh, we'll go in, get some of that jazz done. But yeah, let me know about what you think about this. Ver I'm sorry, like my train of thought just keeps getting derailed. Let me know what you think about the version. I'm actually going to start going this way because this is where the plane crash happens. And I kind of want to get the plane crash. So I'm going to go uh, this way. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited to see what the hell. Why is there just a random dead dude over there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Can I loot him or will, will this, will this, uh. No! Dude, why is this dead body outside the map? I can't check him out. I think he was just going to give me the bunker alpha codes. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. We could have wanted a bunker alpha already. Because I don't think... Is there any zombies? I don't think there's any zombies on the top floor, but there's all those lockers full of loot. No. Why are you doing this game? Why are you doing this? No. Honestly, I should see if we could maybe just get it without even uh, checking that out. But why don't we get... Oh, fast bite. This is the first one that we're ever having to face. Ah! Taken out, baby. But yeah, I'm very excited to hear what you guys say in the comment section. And reminded, the comment section is that magical little place that gets you well onto the way of being entered into the weekly giveaway. All you gotta do as well, after you leave a comment, is make sure that you hit that like button and let me know in the comment section. Or not hit that... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You're already letting me know. But uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you are subscribed. Winners will be announced on Saturday. They will be picked from the last week of Last Day on Earth videos. So from last Saturday to this Friday. And pick a random commenter. If you subscribed, if you liked the video, boom shakalaka. Free $25 iTunes or Play Store gift card for you. And we got that level. Let's go, baby. That's what we needed. So, uh, yeah. Make sure to do that if you like free gift cards. It's my way of giving back to you guys for being absolutely awesome. So huge thank you for the insane support lately. Last couple of weeks, even like the last month in general, has been absolutely nutty. And that is solely because of you guys. Do we get food poisoning from this? No, we don't. We can actually get raw meat. I never realized that. I always thought like every other survival game, we would like start puking our guts out or something. Not enough space for carrot seeds. No! How will I ever recruit carrot top to my army now? Okay, so I think it was just in that initial zone where the zombies uh, stopped following us after a while. There we go. He only got one headed on me. Okay, I was about to say, I was really bamboozled by that. Why don't we pick up some of our baked beans here as well? No, we can't do that. You know, we can do, though, once we craft up the basic backpack. And we equip it. Oh, you betcha. We're getting some of those baked beans up in Papa Star's inventory. Om nom nom. Om nom nom. Good stuff. Now, we will go through a couple more of these things that I might use up some stamina because I really want some, like, special events to happen. Like, oh, trust me, I love looting through some of these low-level areas, especially with our new PC controls. But, yeah, I want the big stuff. I want the cool stuff. At the very least, I should try. Eh, we already looted a chest. To hell with it. On to the next area. Hopefully, we don't die. Am I, are we ballsy enough to go into the yellow area this early game? Like, I kind of know what I'm doing, but at the same time, do I really? Uh, our weapons aren't the best, and we don't really have any heals. We could try. Definitely not red. Red's a little bit too ballsy. Yeah, to hell with it. YOLO or something. Then, then like, a wise man once say YOLO. I'm going to follow that wise man's words. And then we could go to that uh, green green rocks over there. And hopefully that'll be kind of close to the plane crash that happens here. Because apparently the plane crash, from what people were telling me, you guys in the comments. Huge thank you for that, by the way, for uh, letting me know. That's what I love, too, about the comment section is that it spurs all this discussion. And that's what makes Star Snipe so special. Because I'm not Star Snipe, man. That's just what people call me, I guess, because I'm the leader of the community, right? Well, it's us. It's all of us, man. This channel, it's not just me making it. Oh, God. I can... At least I know how to dodge you. There we go. Okay, Toxic Spitter shouldn't be too bad. Yes, dude! Oh, my God. If we can survive Toxic Spitters like that, 
Now that we know how to do it, we might honestly be able to survive uh, this hard of a place super early on. Start hitting them. Come on. Can we get them in? Can we get them in? Yeah, baby! Look at that. All we gotta worry about is the floater bloater, I think. And is that a floater bloater right on top of the chest that we want to get to? I think so. Hey, buddy, speak of the devil. Guess who doesn't care about that chest anymore? This guy, that's who. But yeah, I just love like our sense of community, a lot of the stuff we're able to figure out, and just the fact that you guys contribute to these videos. Smells like a dumpster. All right, just call him crap. That you guys contribute to these videos. It's not just me playing, it's all of us. It's a joint decisions. It's you guys sharing information with me, me sharing that information back with you guys, and it's just absolutely awesome, you know? I love it, but hey, I'm just one man, one man in his opinions. At the end of the day, my opinion ain't what matters. Oh no, someone aggroed me. Oh no, we got a couple of these guys. All right, well, I'm gonna try to take you guys out really quick on the lickety split. Okay, I'm about, I'm going freaking ham, egg, and cheese on these guys. Yeah. Yeah, we got some berries too for a little bit of damage we sustained. And, okay. This is a good chest. And it looks like a fast biter. And someone's aggroing me from really far away. So I'm gonna hopefully take him out. A couple hits. We got the normal walker to deal with. And then this chest will be ours. <laughs> Yeah, if you're careful enough, you can definitely get some good loot Right away like look at this. I'm a level two and I'm already surviving this place just fine And I'm already getting some pretty good stuff just fine, too. So yeah Papa stars a happy star who the hell is that running after me? Is that a dude? I don't I don't feel like fighting a dude He's got a lot of health and he'll get some we'll get some hits right back in on me So that'll be no bueno, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say in the comment section I'm really looking forward to dishing out that play store or iTunes or iTunes whatever whatever you play on man I just want to give it to you so if you can use it in the last day and help you in your journey, especially since hopefully this weekend will be that big 1.6 update, the one that I know a lot of us are looking forward to. Uh, so that could be really awesome. But this is this is really awesome too in its own sense. It's not like an update, but it is a method of being able to play stuff here on PC. And I know for some people, like, you know, they like, okay, I don't think... I don't think most people have like flip phones out there or something like I think most people have solid phones But still sometimes you're using an outdated phone, you know, maybe it can't run the latest and greatest that type of jazz That's where I love emulators Now Goodbye gray wolf Welcome to the butchery shop Roman zombie. How do you do? Quite good. Yeah, good to hear. Yeah, see yeah hmm. Now if we get there we might have to sacrifice some stuff in our inventory because the airplane has really good loot. But again, it only happens below a certain level. So I guess it might even be a good idea to maybe not level up a whole ton right away. I'm definitely going right there right away too. It might be a good idea to maybe not level up right away. Because the airdrop is seriously... Eh. Until you get the chopper and you can go to chopper events, the airdrop by far and away has the best stuff imaginable. So if I... Dude, even just like... I know on our save, not the airdrop, you know what I'm talking about, the plane crash. So on our like really good save, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to get a taste of that plane crash ever again. But hey, at least I'll remember, I'll get to remember in today's video what it's like. That feeling of looting everything and getting all that awesome stuff. Hey, a broken iPhone! I like iPhones, they're good. They're, they're a phone that is smart. And that's good. Okay, Toxic Spitter, listen. I might be a level two, but that doesn't mean I can't bully you. Ooh, the rhymes. You and two. For sure. Part two. Well, no, two doesn't rhyme with two. Well, maybe it does. Like, the number two rhymes with the word two. I, I, I don't know. What you got for me? Hey, hey, hey. Not shabby stuff. Goodbye, Rock. Hello, Transistors. Goodbye, you. Yeah, I'll pass on the paint can. I'll take the coupon for now. And I'm pretty happy. And a hell with them. Why don't we drink up the water here? And we can take the paint can too. And that's looking pretty good. Oh, you know what we can do? We'll run back to base here. We'll learn the small box. We'll toss. Whoop, 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 whoop. We'll toss one of those things down. <laughs> no, get away from me. I can't give you no cement on a stick. How'd you hit me through that tree? You were not close enough to aggro me. I used that tree as an obstacle. He used the tree as a way to teleport his punch to me. My god, these are like next level shenanigans via witnessing. Yeah, shenanigans. Okay. Ah, really? That, that far? Oh, uh, okay. Well, I will talk to you guys whenever we can run over there. And then hopefully going back into the green area there, the game will realize we have like zero energy and it'll be like, oh, look good, look good. There's plane crash over here, Star. But you could get to it and I'll be like, suckers! 
Got 25 coins. I'm gonna run straight there, buddy boy. But in the meantime, I'm gonna walk straight there instead of run straight there, buddy boy. All right, and we can run over the green area. We'll hop in, hop out, see if maybe something's happening over there. If not, I think what we might end up doing is we'll run back to base, drop off some of the, We'll use our 25 coins to run back to base, drop off some stuff, and I'll just YOLO it, try to run by the plane crash and see if we could get the fabled plane crash that we seek. If not, though, not much you can do, and I'll, I'll, I'll deal with whatever cards I'm dealt, you know? I'm not, I don't, I don't, okay, yeah. No plane crash yet. But there we go. Why don't we buy some energy? Let's hope that that spurs a plane crash somewhere. I'm surprised. Usually, like, a second event happens. I wonder if the dealer only happens once you're a certain level. That could be a thing. I don't ever remember getting the dealer at, like, a super low... Well, to be fair, the dealer update wasn't in when I was a low level, so actually, never mind on that. But, you know, was in the small box. The small box that we're about to absolutely cover our base in. Oh, look at how nice we're looking. I forgot how I forgot how awesome it was like. And dude, I remember that sense of wonder I had initially clearing out this first block and then realizing we're turning into, into our base. I'm like, yo, this is dope. That's that's what Papa Star does when he gets happy. He just screams out, dope! <laughs> Alright, so we got one down. Why don't we try and get one more? I was just trying to like drag my character. I don't even know what the hell I was doing there. Uh, why don't we get one more? That should be enough to drop everything off. That we need. Uh, I forgot I could use my macros, dude. I'm just so used to clicking on them. I keep forgetting what keys it is. But if I was playing for long enough, I could definitely like memorize this and remember where what goes. And it's also because I think I was dragon to make this happen. Dragon, get it? Because I'm a dragon. But I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, fun fact. Papa Star is a dragon. Didn't know that? Well, you didn't know enough about Papa Star, apparently. I I don't even know. I'm, I'm so offended. You guys didn't know I'm actually a low-key dragon. You disgust me. No, just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, what you got over here? Uh, we can drop off... Yeah. We'll drop off both of those. And we'll have the berries there ready to go. Let's see if maybe we could get ourselves into a little bit of an airdrop scenario. Oh, it's the dead deer from earlier. I'll leave you here as a souvenir. Yeah! Woo! Nothing as good as a dead deer as a souvenir. Oh, that rhymes too. Dude, I'm looking like Buster Rhymes out here, boy. Uh, so what we could probably do is I'm thinking maybe run over to the pine wood. That might get us close enough to trigger. Because I think usually an event happens right around the time you're halfway out of energy. At least from my experience. I mean, that experience is playing Last Day on Earth every day and trying to share all that juicy info information with you guys. But uh, yeah, from my limited experience. <laughs> Alright, in and out. Five second adventure. Sounds good. Firearms. Yeah, that's something we're not going to taste for a while in this in this save. Yeah, I don't think we're going to continue it, but who knows? If you guys seriously show enough interest, I definitely it wouldn't be against me. Let's see if maybe running over here will make it happen. That'll put us under the threshold. I'm kind of scared to run into Bunker Bravo, though. Just because it's a very spoopy place. And mm, we'll take things from there. We're running pretty low on stamina, so I sure as hell hope something cool happens soon. Because if it doesn't... We have been boozled ourselves. And I don't want to be boozled myself, man. I want to stay anti-boozled. Holy hell, I forgot how crappy Bunker Bravo looks, that's for sure. Uh, I don't even think I want to... Yeah, no. Not trying to open that. Not trying to open that. Oh, I don't even think... Never mind. We couldn't even get into Bunker Alpha. I forgot. You guys probably already left a comment calling me out for my dingitude. Being a dingus and all that. Damn, we're really lucking out like this. YOLO, let's run to the infected forest. What could possibly go wrong there? Yeah, though. I mean, I guess we're having pretty bad luck. But yeah, my dingitude. My shenanigans. <laughs> yeah, we need, an, we need an alpha card to get into there anyway. I totally forgot. And I don't think we have found one. So, that kind of sucks. I forgot, because we've only ever used... Oh, sorry, I hit my mic there. We've only ever used the alpha card once. Big one! I've come to duel! Come at me, bro! Hello, bro. Fight me, IRL. Ow, don't fight me, IRL. Never mind. I give up. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Ow, did we just get hurt again? I heard my dude make that, like, groan over there. Damn. We are really lucking out. Well, I think it's a good point. I, that, that sucks, though. I really wanted to check out the plane crash. But if it's not happening, it's not happening. But I think it's a good point for us to end it off on. Mainly because it means that I get to strand my dude in the infected forest. So... While we don't see what's going on, we can imagine our uh, in-game character is going to have himself a fun couple of nights, you know? 
But other than that, is gonna wrap it up for me. Thank you guys all time for watching. And huge thank you to Noxa for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. It means a huge amount to me that they were able to do that, especially because I've been using their emulator since before they contacted me. So I really thought this would be a great opportunity for me to share some awesome info with you guys. And even, even if you don't end up playing last day on earth on this necessarily, there's a lot of stuff you could do through Android that, you know, maybe wouldn't be as easy or, you know, as useful on your phone that you could now just emulate on your PC, which is pretty useful. But at the end of the day, it, to me, it means last day on earth PC version. So huge thank you to them. Make sure to check out their website and potentially download this, uh, download the program yourself. Link at the top of the description. Make sure you check it out. Huge thank you to them for sponsoring the video. Sponsoring the shout out means a ton. But other than that, it's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all the time for watching. I was a fan for a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See you.